So who can think of a potential biological application for the difference, this exact difference between saturated and unsaturated lipids? So that's a sperm whale. I think they, he has a size advantage on all, all of us put together. OK, so this guy has, has made four tons of oil and put it in his head. If it melts this oil, right, it comes into a liquid phase, it kind of expands, it becomes less dense. Right, so it's going to float. Because now instead of doing this toy system, let's suppose I put in a real genome. Now we reflect on